This is going to be testing my heights situation. Oh my days, look at that. It's just sheer drop on the end of them. Well, good day, everybody. Welcome back to another little video. I wasn't planning on filming this, to be honest. I was planning on just uh, taking me, myself and I on a little hike here in the Peak District. I've just come up here for a couple of nights one full day which is today and uh, there's a beautiful little walk here there's a couple of little unusual little rocks here that I've seen online quite a few times and uh, I won't go into why I'm here anyway but I'm in this area and uh, these rocks are nearby so I thought I'd go and see them so why don't you come and join me too it would be rude not for me to ask you to come as well I think they're up there somewhere they're called the Trinical and uh, I think we can do a loop. I think what we can do is we can go around this reservoir here. It's called Dovestone Reservoir. And I think we can come back down like this, basically. So that's the plan. That is the plan. Anyways, folks, this is Dovestone Reservoir. So you can see in the distance there as well, on the other side of the reservoir, there's a path also that goes in line with this, basically ends up in the same place so you can either walk this side or the other side i chose this side and i think when you do the loop we can come back down the other way anyways so anyways check it out man what a beautiful day a nice little pine forest there folks anyways um i'll just mention there's a couple of different ways you can get up to the trinical go left or right basically and uh, we're gonna go left because it goes past another couple of little reservoirs we're gonna head round left but the clouds are coming in folks the clouds are coming in got my little drone with me and uh, it would be perfect place to get some footage of uh, <laughs> these little rocks but let's see how the wind is because it's quite windy and my little thing is just very little and flimsy but anyways look at this man big rocks that have fallen down there yeah this is a nice little spot man and this was just a off the cuff trip to be honest with you i wasn't really planning this until a couple of days ago but i thought why the hell not anyway we're coming to the end of this reservoir now as you can see here so we're going to be going that way we've got ourselves a little beach here playa playa dovestone So the Trinical are just beyond yonder. So as I was uh, <laughs> coming up here, there was a little T-junction just by the start of this reservoir here. And that's the way you decide which way you come up to the Trinical, left or right. As I said, we're come, we've come along the um, to where the reservoirs are. The next one here is coming up, as you can see. But um, it's quite busy today and uh, the car park's full, quite a lot of people about. And because the other path is 10 minutes shorter, guess which way most people have chosen to go, folks? And guess which way most people have chosen not to come? Because it's 10 minutes longer. <sighs> 10 minutes, man. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure they'd manage another 10 minutes, you know? Nah, but I'm just, like I said, they might even come back down this way because it's like a loop basically you come up one way you can come back down the other so um wouldn't make sense to go up and down the same way would it really that'd just be silly so um like i say coming down coming up to the next reservoir there where the wall of it just looks like part of the mountain it's all grass it's beautiful man really nice so that's where we're headed And given this is one of the closest um, national parks to where I grew up and, and I'm from, I haven't ventured around this this uh, national park a lot, the Peak District National Park. It's crazy really, so uh, I think I might have to come here a little bit more often when I'm up north, you know. If anyone's got any recommendations for me, places to visit, 
give me a shout. I'm all ears and uh, yeah, looking for some new places in the UK to do some hikes and do some new videos on, you know? So if you've got any nice little spots you'd like to see me film, put them in the comment section below. I will definitely check them out. absolutely love being by the water you know it's usually the sea for me that does it but just listening to that flowing water I don't know it just makes me feel at home for some reason <laughs> I don't know how to explain it but anyways we are getting closer and closer and closer and closer if there's ever a time I wish I had a canoe Oh my days. Or even just something plastic to sit on, imagine hoofing down there on something, folks. Woohoo! Be awesome. Anyway, I've come to a dead end. I've lost track. I've got distracted by this bloody amazing thing. I think I need to go back this way. You see, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. I've said this in other videos as well. I lose my way. And I've got lost on top of a mountain once. That wasn't a nice experience. So I need to pay attention to where I am. I can't go too wrong, to be honest with you. I can't go too wrong, but there's always that possibility. Well, here we are getting up to the level of the next dam so getting some elevated views already obviously the reservoir down there but yes we're gonna be walking on the edge of this one now through that little valley there by the looks of it and then that's probably when things start getting a little bit tougher folks the old steep inclines and the false horizons that always get you out, always catch you out, sorry. But we ain't going too high today. I mean, it's just there. Nothing too strenuous. Nothing like Snowdonia. <laughs> and once you get to the top here, you can walk along basically the top of the grass wall we were looking at from a distance. And uh, there's another path that joins there, so you can go down the other side of the reservoir there. So there's many options here, you know, many options. When you go on Google Maps, uh, it doesn't show most of the paths, to be honest with you. If you do want to do some hiking, obviously get a better app than that. OS is a good one, obviously. But um, yeah, when you come to places like this, you often quite find other little paths shooting off here and there, and you end up doing a slightly different hike than what you were going to do, you know. Sorry if it's a little bit noisy, it's because of this little bugger here, look. The overflow. It's the way the world works, folks. It flows. Flow, flow, flow. So this is the point where the valley starts coming in folks, this is the scary little bit. When the innocence of the blue skies go and the big daunting mountains lay ahead. Ooh. There's a cute little weir, check that out. <laughs> Right at the end of the uh, this reservoir here. Got a little family down there enjoying the lakeside. Very cute, eh? Yes, man. Beautiful. It's a cute little bridge as well. You know what? They used to put some effort into things back in the day, didn't they? Look at that. <clears throat> I mean, sorry. I don't know if you can see how that wall's kind of curved as well. It's not just straight. It's actually the curvature on that is phenomenal. these days so it'd just be square wouldn't it to be honest to be quite frank get an edge on it
possible that was that. That's all three reservoirs walked by. Now, it's through the valley of the shadow of death. We've got a little river here and we follow the river right all, all the way basically until we need to make a little turn to head up to the top, to the Trinacle. So, vamos, let's go. Well, what is that? What is that old thing? To me, that could only be described as a bird bath, to be honest. If anyone knows what they are for in the Peak District, um, by this reservoir especially, <laughs> let me know in the comments section below. Yeah, the grey clouds are coming in, folks. And uh, one thing I will say, well, I'm with O2 in the UK. I'm not getting no phone signal or no Wi-Fi, uh, like internet or anything here. So just be aware of that. If you're coming here with, you think you're going to be relying on your phone. That's a waterfall there, look at that. Yeah, I've got caught, caught out a couple of times with that. <laughs> it's not a nice feeling, you know, but I've already put my little planner into my phone already. So I'm uh, safe as houses to get to the Trinacle and back at least. But for the rest of it, not so sure. But you know, I might pick up a little bit of signal here and there, you never know. Look at these rock formations at the top, man. One thing I love on hiking, is a couple of elderly women coming towards me now. They must be in their 60s. And, uh, yeah, they're just out here and they've gone further than most of the youth. Do you know what I mean? I love seeing it. There's... Some healthy people out there, folks. Some healthy old folk out there. Or elderly folk, I should say. Anyway, look at this. Just coming up to a nice little bridge here. Beautiful little waterfall there. Got a waterfall, a river, sorry. <laughs> look at this, that man. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning, man. Eh? Hello. Hiya. Oh, yeah. You been to the top? Yeah, it's not. Just to the top where the rail is, we didn't go. You didn't go to the Trinacle? No, we didn't no. go all the way, it looked a bit. Is it getting a bit sketchy up there, yeah. is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't expect that. Yeah. Okay, I'll see how I go. Good luck. <laughs> well, well done for getting that far. Yeah, you see. Anyway, they've just said to get up to the Trinacle, it looks a bit sketchy. <laughs> I was expecting it to just be a path like this, folks. Let's see, shall we? I hope I'm not undermining this hike up to the Trinacle, folks. I don't want to have to turn back, but uh, I also don't want to get myself into any bother. Anyway, let's see, let's see. But it's like I was saying before, you know, when the valley starts coming in, when you leave the beautiful blue skies and the little pretty trees on the side, and then these, uh, that's ahead of you, and it looks a bit craggy and a bit gray and a bit, daunting it can be quite scary you know especially if you're on your own by the way um yeah especially if you're on your own if you're with other people it's not so bad obviously but as a solo hiker things can become a little bit daunting you know especially if you're not used to or familiar with the surroundings so we've just hit our first bit of flat land for the first time in a while in a great gradual uphill all the way not too bad obviously but um that's where we're going through, that's where they said it starts looking a bit sketchy. You see what they mean, but there's a path following that river apparently. But let's just go and have a look over here first. I'm going to stop here for a little sandwich and that anyway, I'm starving. Good spot to stop by the looks of it. Ooh, not too sure though. This looks stunning, right? And there's all of that shite and water. Oh, but there's a river coming down through the valley here anyway, that's what I was going to show you. Right there. So, uh, I can see some people up here. There's some hikers up there. Again, they look elderly, you know, they've got grey hair. They're going to be in their 50s and 60s. No youth to be seen on this trip, folks. Not on this little trail here anyway. Not yet. I'm not going to lie, they were all in their trainers and shorts and... Uh, not hiking gear basically, and all of the older folk, they've all got their backpacks on, boots on, uh, all prepared, you know, for a good day's hiking. Anyway, I don't really want to sit by all that frothy stuff, so 
so I'm going to continue a little bit. Um, by the looks of it, there's some nice little waterfalls up here. I'll sit by one of them, I think. As you can see in the water, the water, sorry. Let me just put my mouth a bit closer. The water's probably quite loud. Um, it's very brown, you know, and that is because there's a lot of copper here. Maybe there's some old tin mines here, some old copper mines. And uh, that's the reason for that. We have similar, similar places in, the, in Wales, you know. So um, anyway, look at this. The path, to be fair, is a little bit sketchy. So come it down. So yeah, you've got parts of the path there, which have, the path's been taken away, basically. Overnight, I think the water was a lot, I think the water was a lot higher than it is now uh, through the night and maybe this morning. So it looks like there's parts of this path that were actually, you couldn't get through, you know. Uh, and this is where two unfortunate things happened. Firstly, my GoPro packed in on me, so the rest of the video is filmed on my phone. And secondly, the path was impassable due to the river being so high, which meant I had to turn back on myself. Gutted. But I did get this bit of footage to try and compensate a little. amazing actually just thinking before I was wanting to find waterfalls hoping for big waterfalls and it seems that I got a little bit too much water than what I was expecting folks <laughs> so much so it stopped me from continuing my little walk anyways I shouldn't be complaining eh views for days well, we've only got up until that little bit of the lake there, the end of the reservoir, and we'll head up to the Trinacle, finally. <laughs> well, hopefully, folks, hopefully, unless we've got any other things that are getting in our way of getting up there today, you never know. Maybe this was not meant to be. Maybe Guy was not supposed to go to the Trinacle today. <laughs> let's see, eh? Let's see. Anyway, it's not too far now, folks. We don't have to go back as far as what I thought we had to, which is a good thing. Anyways, whew. another dodgy pan with my phone. So on the way here, we, on the way, we walked along the bottom road here. So there's a little road where you can follow right along the lake, or there's, there's this one at the top here. So you can do either one. This time I've taken the high road. You take the high road. I take the low road. Actually, I'm on the high road, aren't I? That was wrong. <laughs> so here we are at the end of the reservoir where we were just looking at. As you can see there, there's the path going up to the Trinacle. That's where we need to head now. So vamos, let's go. I just thought I'd stop to enjoy the view, the view, folks. Nothing to do with the fact that I'm out of breath. Nothing to do with that at all. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking as well, because it's the school holidays, I'm hoping there's not a bloody queue to get on this trinacle, like there has been in the, in the recent uh, times of Snowdon. 
but let's see, eh? Um, yeah, it's the kind of thing where you can only get a couple of people on at one time, really, you know? So if there's a few people up there, then there's gonna be a few people waiting, isn't there? Anyways, look at that. Peak District, UK. Dovestone, to be more precise. Anyway, folks, onwards and upwards. That's the path, folks. We have had a bit of rain, haven't we? Well, I thought this was the. I thought this was the top, folks. It's a full surprise. Just right there. turned into a bit of a heather walk, folks. Some beautiful heather here. Absolutely stunning. Some of it's still showing off some vibrant colours. Some died, some dead. Oh no, it's just coming out actually, sorry. This is when it's just starting to, uh, starting to appear. Check it out, look. Beautiful little new bits of heather starting. Mm, stunning, man. Oof, went on my arse then, folks. <laughs> Did you hear that slip? Anyway, I think we're getting close. I see some rock formations just here. That's one of the rivers that we could see coming down. Do you remember when we went the other way? Uh, we came along this way and I said there was another another river joining it. That's the one there. So we were so close, folks. We were so close, yet so far. Well, there we have them, folks. The Trinacle. I'm not sure if you can get onto that smaller one on the left, but we're sure gonna hell us find out. And no queue neither, nobody here at the moment. Just need to bear my foot into here because it is rather sodden. But yes, man, there's no one else here. And it doesn't look like there's anyone else around the days, so perfect, perfect. Here we go. Pretty spectacular, eh? Well, from here, it definitely looks like you can get up to the one on the left. <laughs> oh, my days. I was hoping I couldn't actually, so I didn't have to do it, but this is going to be putting my, um, my fear of heights to the test, folks. Let me just zoom out here. This is going to be testing my heights situation. Oh, my days. Look at that. It's just sheer drop on the end of that. Woohoo! Well, folks, what do you think of that? 
I was shitting myself on there, I'm not gonna lie, I was scared to death. My legs were genuinely shaking. Anyway, that's the river we were trying to get up before. I don't know if you can see that too much, but that's where we were before, we were trying to climb up here. Um, I can see a little bridge down there actually, which is probably where you cross the river to come up on this side. But, um, we were so close folks, so close yet so far. Beautiful views man. And you've got the road up on the top there. It's cars there, you can see a little white car in the middle of the screen there now. So it's time to head on down folks, time to head on down. I'm just deciding whether to uh, go down the same way or you can continue along the top of the mountains here and drop down into the car park. Just seen a guy, he said it's about seven kilometers. So um, depends how energetic I'm feeling, doesn't it, hey? Given that I'd pretty much walk up to the summit twice already, I opted for the same way down and saved myself about five kilometers of walking. I was pushing it for daylight too, so it made sense. Well, there we go, folks. There we go. That was Dovestone Reservoir. Reservoirs. And the Trinicles. How oh, did you enjoy that? Just a short little little hike, but I thought it was worth the visit. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I don't know why I'm whispering. No need. No need. Anyways, folks. Seems a stunning man. Like I said, if you've got any other recommendations of hikes for me to do in this uh, in this national park, the Peak District, give me a shout and I'll sure check them out. <laughs> and I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Anyways, time to head back now, folks. Refresh, shower, all that jazz. Pub, dinner. Until the next one, stay chirpy, take care of yourselves. One more dodgy pan with the phone before we finish. Yeah.